Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Time. First of all, I just want to apologise for my absence. It's been about two weeks, just over two weeks since my last video. I've been really, really ill. I've had bronchitis, bacterial tracheobronchitis, and it's just completely wiped me out. I've basically been on the sofa under a blanket in my pyjamas for two weeks. So yeah, it's been a pretty rubbish time. I've been getting really frustrated. I've just felt rubbish. Today is the first day I've started to feel a little bit better and up to filming. So thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for all of my subscribers. Thank you for commenting on my videos. I love getting all of the feedback. So thank you very much. So today's video is going to be part two of what I made in 2018. It had to be split into two videos because we had a bit of a technical issue the first time. So I'm back today with the rest of the things that I made last year. I'll tell you about what I'm wearing at the end of the video because I want to talk a little bit about why I'm wearing a floral garment and give you a bit more information about that. So in my last video I got up to garment number 22 that I'd made last year and so we'll start off with garment number 23. Quick maths. A garment number 23 was a linden sweatshirt, my third linden sweatshirt. It was made in the most gorgeous grey cap print jersey from Fabric Magpie which I bought when I went to Sew Northwest a few months ago and I used just black, plain black cotton jersey from First for Fabrics for the cuffs and the neckband and yeah I love it, it's great. One of my favourite makes because it's got cats on obviously. Make number 24 was another Linden but this time it wasn't for me, it was a birthday present for my lovely friend Tiff. As you'll see it's this really fun banana print which was bought from Luby Doo Fabrics and my friend loves it, thankfully. Again, I used black cotton jersey from First of Fabrics for the details, but it's just such a great pattern and it's a really good one to make as a gift for somebody because it, it's not supposed to be too fitted. Obviously, Tiff's a bit smaller than me, so I did make the smaller size. I went down two sizes, but I just used the same pattern pieces, but I just snipped into them around the edges and folded them under so that I could cut out the size six for her but then still keep mine as a size 10 for when I wanted to make my next one. So that's a good tip if you haven't done that before. Make number 25 was my entry for the Cozy Cardi Challenge, which was run by the Stitch Sisters and Amanda for I Sew A Lot. And I really loved this make. It was the Paper Cup Patterns Fjord Cardi. And I used remnant fabric from Sew Me Sunshine. I used the quilted jersey that you can see and I used the front and the back of that because I really liked the effect on the back of the fabric which was the stripey effect. So I used both sides of that fabric and then I also used a plain pink Ponte Roma and you can see I've combined those fabrics to make a really interesting garment and I always get asked about this when I wear it. I think it looks really different and really unique which I love. Make number 26 and 27 of last year were two more Lindens, surprise, surprise. And this time I used two fabrics from Pin and Sew and I just combined them in different ways to create two very similar jumpers, but different. Similar but different. Yeah, you can see from the pictures that I've just mixed and matched the pink and the black to make two lovely sweatshirts. And these are really cozy. They've got a lovely fleecy back. And yeah, I love wearing these. Sometimes wear them for CrossFit or just to be cozy around the house. So yeah, I'm really happy with those two. Make number 28 was a Nina Lee Southbank sweater. So this was my first Southbank and definitely not my last. So I made the cropped version which I think might be version three on the pattern. And I used this lovely sparkly, midnight sparkly jersey from Sew Me Sunshine. But it, the cropped version wasn't supposed to have a hem band around the bottom, but I added one because I just thought I would get more wear out of it that way. I made it in a size 10, so it is quite small, quite fitted, but I was really happy with that. And it goes perfectly with my lovely owl tatty divine necklace, as you can see from the picture. Make number 29 was another Nina Lee Southbank sweater, but this time it was the dress version. So version one, I used this gorgeous sparkly star print 
jersey which was a remnant from Like So Amazing and I just adore this fabric, it's so lovely. I made the size 14 in this because I wanted it to be sort of a looser fit, more slouchy and I just really really love it. The only thing that I found was the pockets I feel sit a little bit too low and as soon as I put anything in the pockets the bottom of the pockets come down under under the level of the hem band so in a minute I'll talk about what I've done to fix that the next time I've made that pattern but yeah I really really love the Nina Lee South Bank it's such a quick make it's such a satisfying make it's perfect for comfort it's perfect for dressing up you know you can wear it with heels and make it look really stylish and smart it's just great I love it <laughs> Make number 30 and 31, I'm not sure I've actually got pictures to insert but they were both the Tilly and the Buttons Freya top from the stretch book, both in fabrics from First for Fabrics, one was just a plain black cotton jersey and I just made the long sleeved plain version of the Freya top. The only change I made was that I doubled the height of the neckband so that it would roll over into a roll neck and I just wear that layered underneath things. I think I actually wore it in one of my previous videos. So there was that and then again another Freya in a sparkly blue rib knit from First for Fabrics and again that's just for layering underneath things and I just made that as the long sleeve version with just the normal neckband this time. So yeah two basics but essentials to have in my wardrobe. And my last make of the year and I finished this on New Year's Eve 2018 so just crept in there was my lovely paper cut patterns Capelia cardigan. Now I've been looking for a ballet style wrap top for a while and I found this pattern in their Black Friday sale and just fell in love with it and the fabric I bought from Sewers Faction quite a while ago and I just hadn't found the right thing. I couldn't decide what to make with it until I found this pattern and I just knew it would be perfect. So yeah, I made the short full wrap ballet cardigan and I just adore it. It's so, so pretty. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything I made last year. 32 garments in total, two of which weren't for me, but 30 were for me. And I think that's quite a substantial amount considering I only started really dressmaking in the February and then I didn't really get up and running until July with making lots of things. So yeah, I'm happy with that. And everything I've made, I've worn more than once, I would say. So yeah, I'm happy with last year's achievements. Another thing I just wanted to talk about before I wrap this video up is what I'm wearing and the reason for me wearing it. I did mention a couple of videos ago that I have started, along with two other lovely ladies, Keely and Samantha, I've started a sewing challenge this year and it's a monthly challenge which will run for the rest of 2019 and it's to showcase patterned and printed fabric. And every month will be a different theme and there's the opportunity to win prizes. We've got some amazing sponsors on board. If you go to my Instagram page, you'll see some of the incredible sponsors that we've got. We've been very lucky and very well supported by so many businesses in the sewing community. So as was announced on the 1st of February, February's theme is florals. Well, florals and foliage. So leaf print, tree print, <laughs> any type of florals. We're asking you, if you would like, to take part to sew a garment in the month of February that showcases a fabric that has a floral or foliage print. Now, the garment should show off that fabric, so it should be on the outside of the garment, not just lined with florals or pocket linings or facings, things like that. It should be on the outside of the garment. If you would like to do that, you would then share your make on Instagram. You would hashtag the challenge name which is sewing patterns and prints you would hashtag the monthly theme which is sewing floral february and you would tag myself so sewn on the time keely voice of a creative and samantha who is purple sewing cloud i'll put all of that information in the description box below it is open worldwide so as long as the companies that are providing the prizes as long as they're happy to post worldwide then it's the challenge is open to anybody and 
we're really looking forward to seeing everybody's makes. There's been quite a few already, even though we're only in the first week of February, we've had lots and lots of entries already and keep them coming. I'd love you to get involved and showcase the amazing floral fabric and foliage fabric that is available. So that's a reason for what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing a Nina Lee Southbank sweater, another one, and I've made this in this lovely abstract floral cotton jersey, which is from Lubidoo Fabrics. And they kindly sent this to me to promote the theme and to showcase some of the lovely floral fabric that they offer on their website. So this is such good quality, it's really lovely. I love that it's abstract, so it's not sort of in your face floral. It's quite subtle, but just really pretty at the same time. The colors are really nice. We've got lovely pink and mustard and a navy background. I really, really love it. So from cutting out to finishing, this took me less than two hours. It's such a quick, so pretty much all done on the overlocker and it's just such a satisfying make. I'm just wearing it with black tights and Converse at the moment and it's just going to be perfect for work. It's that perfect sort of throw on this in a pair of tights and a pair of shoes and I'm sorted and ready to go. I did mention the pocket issue earlier on in the video. All I did this time was literally moved the pockets up by about an inch and a half. I found that that's much better for me. I don't know if I've got short arms or yeah, I'm not, or a long torso, I don't know. <laughs> but I just found that the pockets sat a little bit too low, but it's easy enough, literally just pin them and sew them slightly higher. Yeah, I made a size 14, but just because I like that loose, comfortable, cosy style. I'm not sure, I might end up taking it in at the waist just a little bit. So from sort of underneath the arms, just down to the waist, I might just nip it in a little bit, but I might not. At least this way I can hide if I've had a big meal. It's not going to be too tight on the stomach area. But I would highly recommend Lubidoo Fabrics. This was only £10 a metre and I got this Southbank sweater dress out of a metre and a half quite comfortably. So £15 for a gorgeous sweater dress I think is an absolute bargain. So I think that's all for today. It's really good to be back. I feel like I can't get my words out as well, so I can tell it's been a little while since I filmed a video. I hope I haven't been too waffly. I'll link everything below that I've mentioned, any of the fabrics that are still available, I'll link below. This one definitely is, and like I said, I would highly recommend it. Such good quality, great service, sweets in with my order, which was fantastic. I'm planning on filming two or three videos over the course of the next couple of days just because I've missed it. I've missed being here on YouTube and now I'm feeling better. I really want to take advantage of that feeling. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you've got anything to say about anything that I've made or if you're taking part in our challenge, then I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I hope you're all well and I'll see you again very soon. Bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>